Watermelon Punch, Carrot Kick and Wedge Burger Chop. Supreme Master Ching Hai's Kung Fu Story, Part 3 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples, given in Chinese and English on June 22nd, July 14 and 20, August 4th and 25th, 2019, at the New Land Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. United, huh? Peace, huh? And you'll be rich, a country more rich if united together. Don't see how to even come and young sin to the young I sin to the anything special you need, you guys? Hmm? No? What can you need as a caveman? Just go hunting for food in the kitchen. That's all. That's all you need, right? <laughs> Maybe you need some appropriate clothing. Leopard print, <laughs> huh? tiger print. You know, wrap around stuff, huh? Right? <laughs> you need them? Just too much. <laughs> You know, like fit in, fit in with the environment, right? <laughs> with the Flintstones. <laughs> we could make a Flintstone society over there, you know that? Yeah. Flintstone... Um, dot com. <laughs> Caveman dot com. Mm. What else can we do there? I'm thinking of extraordinary, earth-shaking name, you know, to found a society, you know? <laughs> and I be a CEO. <laughs> Flintstone sounds good because people will get used to it quickly, you know, quickly. We have movies, you know? These are cartoon. What film was that? What's the name of that? The Flint Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have many stones around, so this is perfect, no? <laughs> Don't you think so? <laughs> we have nothing but stones around us, right? <laughs> At that time, we bought a lot, a lot of stones to make those caves for you, for me also. Now we don't have to call it a fling stone, we can call it that. What is more my more eyes catching, ear catching? Flung stone? <laughs> Fling around, flung around? How about all stones? <laughs> because all of you is <laughs> like stone sometimes. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> so can we make a society like that? What do you think? All stone. About Taiwan stone or, or international stone? International. Stone international. <laughs> what do they call that? The uh, um, foundation, right? Yeah, stone foundation. <laughs> we do really have foundation, a stone, no? Yeah, it could be good. Or stone foundation. Or ceiling stone or foundation. <laughs> You guys don't mess up with my girls, yeah? You know now they are training, yeah? You train well and then I will test you. <laughs> Make sure you can jump over the cave, <laughs> at least. <laughs> it's not a house roof, it's very low already. My teacher before make us jump over the roof, on top of the roof. Many men cannot until he kick to, you know, where. 
And then, <laughs> and remember last time I told you the story? He kicked there and you know where, and then he jumped. Whoa! Landing on the roof and fall down very smoothly. Boom! Oh, wow. It's not wow, it's very painful. <laughs> You are not men, you don't know. If people kick you where you, you know, where, I, it's very painful. <laughs> you don't understand, right? If, if you learn Kung Fu, you should know what I'm saying. Huh? There was a, was a joke, huh? The, uh, the girl coming home, you know, upset, telling the mother, Mom, I don't want to marry the boy that you have chosen for me. And the mom say, why, why? Oh, he tell the truth all the time. I say, ah, that's a good thing, no? I say, no. He say, my lipstick is not good. My shoe doesn't fit me. Um, I'm not his type, <laughs> etc., etc. Mother say, don't worry, dear. After marriage, he will learn how to tell lies. <laughs> Good job, huh? Yeah. Original from M. <laughs> Any good job? Hmm? You know, just listen all the time, you know, talk. <laughs> Don't be shy. Hey, come here. I saved some for you. Get a chair. I saved some cakes for you and some stuff here. Yeah. Originally, they want to bring it home for you, but you're here, so eat them all. You need it. <laughs> so many Kung Fu disciples, you need it. <laughs> Learn. <laughs> Learn this type of Kung Fu, it's useful. <laughs> In China, if you go anywhere, they normally don't have this. This is a luxury, only for master. Hmm? <laughs> you like it, huh? Yeah. It's not difficult? Wow. Cool, man. Good that you learn this type of Kung Fu because it's useful in Thai China. How, how many stands did you give them already? How many stands? Mm -hmm. um, we're learning the, the first form, which, which is the one, only one I know. Oh, the only one you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we're starting off step by step, so... How many steps? <laughs> A few, and we're repeating because we need to get the basics first. Mm -hmm. The basics is the only one you know anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you said so. no, I was counting on you to have a, to build like a you say uh, bodyguards around me, and now you, you make me feel like I'm flopping from the fifth floor. All right, we'll, we'll step on it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, never mind. Just joking. At least train to be healthy, you know. Yes, master. No. In uh, in a temple, mostly they teach uh, the monks some basic stuff. <laughs> like you. I'd fit right in. Huh? I would fit right in with you all the basics. You'd fit right in, basic, yeah. Well, but you did well. It looked uh, groovy on, move, on, the, on the TV. I thought, wow, where did she got that? Or oh, is it a special effect or something? <laughs> oh, no, that was me. <laughs> it was real, huh? That was you, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, so I guess it was right, huh? Because normally they want to send it. Maybe China or Korea, where the real Kung Fu starting, or Vietnam again. I said, no, you guys do it here. And luckily they found you. How did they know? I think it was uh, Sister Laura who suggested me. <laughs> yeah? She know you have some stuff? She knew I could do a bit of juggling, and I think yeah? that's why she suggested <laughs> me. <laughs> and then it came out that I could um, oh, do very a good. bit of Taekwondo. Very good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I eat now, so that you can Kung again full. <laughs> Yeah, good job. Yeah. Master, I have a joke. Yeah, tell me. Um, yeah, someone submitted this for news, but I, we, I don't, I don't, I didn't think we can use it for news, but I, it's a good joke for today. Ah. Um, there was a very traditional Italian monastery, mm -hmm. and this new monk joined, and then they put him to work. So he was writing down the scriptures, mm -hmm. copying the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And then he realized that he's copying the scriptures from copy, not from original. Wow. And so he went to the head monk and said, um, Head monk, uh, I, I don't understand why we have to co copy the scripture from the copy, not from the original. Mm. So and the head monk says, Oh, 
it's a good point, son. I will check on it. And so he went to the cellar downstairs mm -hmm. to check. And then the new monk is waiting, waiting, and he's never coming up. Mm -hmm. And then he hear this loud crying from downstairs. Mm -hmm. And then the head monk was crying and crying and crying. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the new monk went downstairs mm -hmm. and asked the, uh, the head monk, what's wrong, eh? Oh, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? And he says, I checked the original and the scripture says not to celebrate but to celebrate <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah i heard that before <laughs> you guys like that huh <laughs> watch it huh <laughs> just a joke okay <laughs> he realized too late right <laughs> yeah that's a well, some joke, not very funny, but it's a free anyway, free of charge. <laughs> there was a monk who tell uh, his uh, disciple who are going to some countries, uh, tell, tell him to bring him some good Buddha statues. And he said, what, Master, you still want Buddha statues? Then you're not enlightened, are you? But the, we have to find the real living Buddha, you know? The master says, ah, living Buddha is everywhere. Uh, good statues, hard to find. <laughs> yeah, it's true if you are in Tibet, you yeah, have a lot of, you know, Tuku, living Tuku running around. <laughs> tuku means living Buddha, yeah? In Tibetan, they believe in incarnation of uh, Buddha. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I was a disciple, you know, he, he doesn't believe in his master too much, his Zen master. So he went until the Zen master asleep, and then he went and, and, and twist one of his legs very, very hard, like, uh, you know, those um, pasta, <laughs> squirrels, pasta, pasta. And the master screaming, screaming so loud, and the disciples, ah, if you are still feeling pain, then you're not the Buddha. He said, only the wooden Buddha feel no pain. I am a real living Buddha. <laughs> oh, yeah, some people have some funny idea, huh? Mm. Good, huh? Yeah? yeah, eat some more. Kung Fu master and all. Mm? <laughs> Lucky I fish you here, otherwise what do you do in the cave without food, without drink? And flying with the news. <laughs> sure, you'll be flying if you don't eat anything. <laughs> you go outside, the uh, sea who wind is very, very strong, you know? So you'll be flying for sure <laughs> with the news. <laughs> and you'll be the flying news if somebody <laughs> takes some photograph of you. Yeah, I'm glad you guys still hang on. Hmm? It's okay still, right? And don't just fly, hang it on. <laughs> That's why I built the cave, you know, it's just very solid. <laughs> what, is the, what does he teach you? Most of the basic science. I, I know, basic. I, I punch you yeah? <laughs> Fighting against each other? Yes. Not yet. Not yet. Soon, soon you will find out who's your enemy. <laughs> if she, if she tried too hard, you know, oh, this one is... It's not my friend. <laughs> Use an excuse, you know. <laughs> you also need to do some push-up also to strengthen your muscle. Not just learning in the morning, but start at home, uh, training so that so that your your reaction will be automatic. A long time ago, there was a a man who came and and asked a, a very famous teacher to teach him. Uh, you know the the sword, sword art. He said, "No, you're not fit. You can't. You can't be." So he make him do all kind of labor work, you know, cleaning, kitchen, cooking, washing, all that. And then at night, when this guy is so dead tired already from labor work, always the master sneaking in his room and brandishing the sword, <laughs> so he never can sleep. 
That's how he trained him. He refused him, but then he trained him like that. So he always have this alertness. Eh? It's not just uh, in training only, but always quick reaction. <laughs> and and you, if you see like that, you would think that master is very cruel, you know, like that. Yeah. Daytime he make him work, so that he he train his muscle. Okay. Mm. Because it also train the uh, common sense, you know. Mm. So at night time when <laughs> when he's least expected, then he come and you know, whirling sword 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 at him. That's the way he trains. Yeah, you, know? you always have to be alert because you never know when your enemy attack you. That's what the philosophy is. Eh? It's not like your master says, oh, come here, from A to 3, we, we train, it's not like that. The same with meditation, we must also do it regularly. Then when situation comes, it's just automatically our energy is there, our power is there to protect us. Not physical, but similar like that. Yeah? Similar with Kung Fu, physical reaction is a spiritual reaction inside. It's very good to exercise, okay? It's not for fighting, but it's good. Because uh, we have some pent-up energy inside. No? So if sometimes you wear a sock too long, it's also not good. Because the used energy has to be discarded through the feet. Yeah? I, I hardly wear any socks. I cannot bear it. I wear just a little while, but I cannot wear very long. Energy is not used up so much, so you don't feel too bad. I use a lot of energy all the time. So if I wear socks a lot, I cannot bear. Because the used, the used up energy is kind of blocked in some degree. So I cannot bear it. Even, even winter, I hardly wear any socks, I just wear bare feet. Thank you. Do it. Ciao. Mm. Bye bye. See you, huh? Tai Chen.